So we're here with uh, Arnie Lang, and we wanted to ask him a question. Um, uh, what uh, do you have any, any advice for uh, some young concert percussionists uh, regarding preparing for auditions? Uh, definitely do, because I participated in at least two uh, Philharmonic auditions, and uh, we heard a lot of players uh, make similar mistakes. Uh, first of all, if you're going to submit a tape, submit a perfect tape. Don't uh, submit a tape with any wrong notes. It's, it seems obvious, but in the, in the maybe 50 tapes that we listened to, uh, most of them, the vast majority of them, uh, had wrong notes. You know, which doesn't seem to be uh, too clever. Mm. You know, if you're auditioning for a big orchestra to, to send something in with wrong notes, especially you can edit it and do a million takes. Nobody knows the difference. And then the other thing that I found that um, was lacking in a lot of younger players was that they don't really know the music. So there was one instance when I was doing a mock audition up at the Manhattan School, and uh, this player played, who was a graduate student, he played fabulously well, but it was totally boring, really boring. And so when uh, we had the little session afterward where we criticized, critiqued the player, uh, I said to him, uh, Porgy and Bess, could you give me one word on what the piece is about? And he looked at me like I was speaking in a, a foreign tongue. And he, and he just was standing there, mute. And I said, well, is it sad? You know, is it happy? Is it excited? Is it, you know, just any one word. And he, he literally couldn't come up with a, a word to, you know, express the, uh, the idea of the piece. Mm. So, you know, just don't learn just the notes. Learn something about the music. You know, which, uh, assumably, everybody's going to learn to play the notes. But, you know, what makes a musician is to have some concept, some interesting idea about what the music's about. Cool. So. Thanks. Sure.